In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings to you in the name uh, of our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. I've been uh, sharing uh, in Bahasa uh, the last uh, few weeks. Some have asked if I can uh, also share in uh, uh, English. So I thought I will uh, shift from Bahasa to English for the next uh, uh, few weeks. Will you please uh, turn to Ezekiel? Uh, Ezekiel uh, 18, uh, verse uh, 23. Do I take any pleasure in the death of the wicked? declares the sovereign Lord. Or rather, am I not pleased when they turn from their ways and live? The mind of God. The love of God for mankind. While I was, in, uh, I was, while I was still serving the uh, St. Mark's Church Bartwood, one Sunday, after I preached on uh, how the people of uh, Israel uh, were led out of uh, uh, Egypt and how they crossed the uh, Great Sea, a very uh, elderly, uh, a senior church member came up and uh, said, uh, Vika, can I share with you something about the message? Uh, his name is uh, Chia. So I said, uh, yes, Uncle Chia, please. Uh, so I uh, said, uh, I've read of a legend. I said, uh, please, uh, I said, uh, call it a legend. Other people of Israel had uh, crossed the uh, Great Sea. The soldiers, they were rushing, they were following the uh, people of Israel. And then the water came crashing on them. And uh, when uh, Miriam and uh, they other saw how the Egyptian soldiers were drowning. They took their tambourines and started uh, worshipping, they started uh, praising and uh, thanking God, dancing. And they heard a voice that came from uh, heaven, said, uh, Why are you all so excited? Why are you all so happy? Don't you realize that those who are drowning are also my creation, my children? But sometimes we don't uh, realize. Sometimes we become so introvert, uh, so inward looking. Uh, sometimes we don't uh, see the people the way that God sees them. Or the way that God would want us to see the people outside the church. Now, it's very clear that God loves. That's what we uh, know this, we, uh, the key verse. Uh, For God so loved the world. Now, this is a beautiful verse. I always emphasize, For God so loved the world. Uh, God is not uh, uh, choosy. Uh, God does not have a blue-eyed voice or blue-eyed races, nations. God so loved the world that He gave His one and only begotten Son. Why? So that all those who believe in Him so that every person can be saved. So that everyone can experience uh, peace, fullness of life in their lives. So that everyone can have eternal life. That is the mind of God. That's why Jesus came to seek and save that which is lost. So as I was reading this service, do we have that mind of our God? Do we have the mind of our Jesus? A mind that longs, a heart 
that longs for the lost. I remember a Sunday school uh, story. It's told of a mother and a, a child. And uh, they were actually traveling in a train. In those days, you know, this uh, third class train uh, usually be cramped to the maximum. And then uh, the seats are facing each other. So the mother and the child, they were sitting uh, and they were traveling. And the seat opposite them was empty. Very rare, but it was empty. The train stopped at a station and uh, they got into the train. Uh, a uh, policeman uh, with a convict. So the policeman was actually uh, uh, taking the convict from uh, one station to another uh, station, but they were traveling by train. And the convicts, the convict's hands were handcuffed. So this little girl uh, was traveling with the mother, she had never seen uh, uh, someone uh, with their hands uh, cut. So the girl kept asking the mother, Mommy, Mommy, why Mommy? Why, why? Look, Mommy, look, Mommy. Look at the uncle's hand. Look at the uncle's hand. What is the uncle's hand? The mother was terrified because she had never sat in front of a convict. Now she's sitting right in front of the convict, of the policeman. And uh, then uh, they were traveling. And then as uh, they were traveling, uh, the mother had to go to the toilet because she was terrified. But she was so afraid to leave the daughter alone. But then uh, she took courage and asked the uh, police officer if we, if we can uh, keep an eye on the daughter. The policeman said, don't worry, I'll take care of your daughter. And she went to the bathroom and she came back and she was surprised. When she left for the bathroom, uh, the daughter was having a rose in her hand. And now the rose flower was in the hand of the convict. So Mahdi did not dare ask, Mahdi didn't say anything. And uh, the time the station came and the police officer and the convict uh, uh, got down from the uh, train. And then uh, the convict was sentenced to prison. And, uh, and in the prison he started asking uh, the warden, uh, hey, who is this Jesus? Who is this Jesus? So one of them said, uh, hey, Jesus, I know the Christians uh, worship. Oh, okay. I said, uh, you know, as I was traveling, as I was being brought in the train, uh, this, this, this little girl who gave a, a rose flower to me and said, Jesus loves you. And no one has ever loved me. I said, uh, no one. Even my parents, uh, they always abused me. And I grew up in bad company and uh, People just uh, hated me, despised me. Nobody ever loved me. And I want to know who is this Jesus who loves me. So the warden said, I'll get a, a priest to come and uh, talk to you. And uh, eventually the convict accepted Jesus as his personal Lord and Savior. What, 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 what brought about this, uh, his conversion? What was, uh, how did he come to know Christ? Was it, because, was it because a priest stood in the uh, train and uh, started preaching? No, a little girl. What she had in her hand, a flower, she just gave to the convict and said, Uncle, Jesus loves you. That's it. Jesus loves you. Now, she did not see him as a convict. She saw him as a person. And she said, Jesus loves you. Now, as uh, Christians, we must have that kind of uh, attitude towards the others. Now, we cannot uh, be uh, picky 
we can be choosy. Now sometimes we can fall into that kind of a temptation. And we can be very choosy. But we should have the heart of uh, God. It's very clear. It says, uh, do I take any pleasure? So God does not take pleasure in the death of anyone. Does not matter if he is as a rich person or a poor person. It is a desire of God that everyone must be saved. So God calls on us to demonstrate that love for those who are perishing. Now we must take this uh, calling us seriously. Now, today uh, people uh, keep uh, asking uh, when will the church uh, be open for worship? Uh, I, I'm personally looking forward to this uh, congregational worship where we can come together and worship. But uh, Christianity is not just about coming together and worshiping God. Yes, that is the primary, for me, that's the primary way we come together to worship. But Christianity is something more than that. To share the love of God with those who, have, who are longing for the love of God. To, shine, to share the light that we have with those who are still groping in the darkness. So Christianity is, uh, yes, we come to church on Sunday. But this is very important. But there's something more important than that. To share the Jesus that we have in our life with the people who have yet to know him. The story of the government, she just said, uh, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. If you have the heart, God will definitely bring people along your way. With whom you can actually share the love of God, the life that you have in Jesus in simple ways. And God will take care of the rest. The story of a uh, George Mueller. A very interesting story. He really had a burden for a friend of his. He had a burden for all. It says uh, he was praying for a friend's salvation for 63 years and 8 months. That's a long period to pray for someone's salvation. I know when people say, let us pray for, uh, we, we, pray for some, we, we pray for those who are lost and uh, they, then we forget about the whole thing. This guy, George Mueller, had been praying for one person for 63 years and 8 months. That's a long, long, long period to pray for someone's salvation. But that shows how serious he was about his friend's salvation. For us to pray even uh, once can be a big challenge. You know what happened? The guy never accepted uh, Jesus during the life of uh, George Mueller. He was praying for him day after day, month after month, years. You know what happened? We are after the death of uh, George Mueller. While George Mueller's uh, coffin was being uh, lowered into the grave. This friend for whom George Mueller was praying accepted Jesus. That's beautiful. That is having a burden. That is having the heart of God for those who are lost. My dear friends, uh, let me challenge you. you now we, we pray for a lot of things. Are you praying for the salvation of those who are lost? Now it should not be a casual or one-liner prayer. Or we should not just pray when we are asked to pray. It should come from our heart. 
and we should be able to uh, like Nehemiah fast like Nehemiah weep and pray for those who are lost this prayer for the lost is in accordance to the will of God and when we are serious God will definitely answer our prayers. So my question is, do you have the heart of God? Do you have the heart of Jesus? Do we have the heart of God? Do we have the heart of Jesus? Do I take any pleasure? The death of the wicked declares the sovereign Lord. Rather, am I not pleased when they turn from their ways and live? God bless you, my dear brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.